Hi, it's Jennifer and my dog. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, here today to do a, another organizing project with you and it has to do with organizing this armoire that's right behind me. This is in um, a room, kind of a dining area that's right next to my kitchen. And I use that armoire as a way to um, store extra things that I have that I often use in the kitchen area or in this downstairs area. If you've seen any of my other organizational videos about um, organizing a charger drawer or, um, or pantry organization, you know that I have some storage issues in this house I live in. And so my, um, my pantry's really small and um, I just don't have quite enough cabinet space to keep some of those things like extra things of dish soap or candles and things like that, batteries. And so I, um, I've been using this armoire to keep stuff, which is a nice sized space. And I had everything in kind of organized by category. I had all my candles here, I had all my dish, extra dish soap here. I had different things set up, but because they didn't have little compartments to go in, uh, everything got jumbled together. And so I tend to make lists of things. I like to make lists. I like to check things off of lists. But I like to make lists of things, and so it seems that I'm always putting down something I, I want to organize. But it seemed like every year or every six months, I was adding the armoire to that list of things to organize. So clearly what I was doing wasn't working even though I was trying to put things into categories. So I, I tackled this and hopefully it'll work this time. Um, anyway, what I did is I uh, heard that Michaels was having a sale on some of their storage containers and they had these boxes, cardboard boxes, really nice firm cardboard, bo cardboard boxes that are good for storing photographs or memory things whatever so they had them on sale for two dollars a box and i thought that sounded like a steal so i went over and bought several not all of them matched of course they were trying to unload a bunch of these things so i was able to find some that matched and some that didn't but it's inside an armor i mean the doors are closed and so my husband and i are the only ones who are going to be getting in there so i figured it didn't really matter that much so i got the boxes that i could and and went to work organizing this area and it turned out really nice and I hope that it is going to be something that will work for me now. So you don't have to go out and buy things to do this. You might have containers in your own home that aren't currently being used or you might consolidate some things and find that you have some extra containers but this is just a way that I think is going to work to make that this a much more usable space. So let me go ahead and show you what I did with my armoire. The door, now remember, it was a mess and this was one of my projects this year so it's all kind of organized now. But you can see that this has, uh, this has three shelves and um, I'll walk you through what I have in the boxes. Now these are the are boxes that I bought at Michael's. They were on sale and they, are, they were $2 a box. They're kind of advertised as picture boxes or um, memory boxes. But um, at the top left, I have all of my candles, wax melts, um, you know, like uh, plug-in things from Bath and Body Works, the wallflowers and uh, um, all different kind of scented oils and things like that. So you can imagine the mess that that made even though I didn't have, um, even though I had everything grouped together, you can imagine the mess that it would make. So it's kind of nice to have all those things in the box there. Um, and then next for, over from there, I have some dog treats and some other things for my dogs. Uh, the, the next box over has an insane number of um, dish soaps. There's like regular dish washing soap. There's some soap, hand soaps for like our guest bathroom. I love Bath and Body Works lemon kitchen soaps. I have several of those. I collect those when, uh, when they have their semi-annual sale. I, I stock up on those things. The next box over just has batteries and a few other odds and ends. And then I had some space on the side where I put flashlights and um, a fly swatter, you know, stuff like that. So the next row has um, a, this first box or the box on the left has a bunch of mailers. So I often have to mail things out. So when I receive stuff in the mail, if the 
uh, mailer is in good condition, I save it and then I don't have to go out and buy one and I can just recycle it. Um, I had a big problem with this because this thing right here we use to hold our receipts and different things for our taxes. And every time I would pull this out, all of the mailers would fall over. So now that they're in a box, they don't fall over. And I also found that I had quite a few little odds and ends um, kind of craft things in this armoire. And so I, I put those into a few of the boxes, tried to group them together for similar items. And then on the end, I have some stuff for flower drying and flower pressing. And just on the very end, I have a lint brush. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and you know, the boxes don't match, but this is not an armoire where guests will get into or anything like that. We're the ones who are accessing this kind of stuff, so who cares? The, um, the bottom one you can see has a lot of space. There's a stack of dishes there that belonged to my grandmother and I use them from time to time and so I just set them there. This had a bunch of other crud in it, but the amazing thing about getting yourself organized is that you find that you end up with more space and you also find that there's stuff you really didn't want that was shoved in there anyway. So I have all of this space here now and what I'm going to do as I continue to work on some of these projects around my house is see if there's anything, any um, problem area in the house that I can solve by moving some of the things into this area. It may require me to use some other baskets or boxes or bins to hold things, but at least I know I have the space to take care of that. So, well, as you can see, everything's all in its nice, neat container. And what I really like about it is that the containers aren't closed, so I can access things easy. I can grab a battery really quick. I don't have to take a box off the shelf and open it up. I can see what's there and everything has its own little place. And since I filmed that uh, video showing you what the um, armoire looks like. I have since figured out what to do with that bottom space, you know, where I had the stack of dishes from my grandmother. Those are still there, but I have several crock pots. They're all in different sizes and they were pretty much taking up an entire cabinet in my kitchen. So I moved those into there. They're still easily accessible, but I don't use a crock pot every day, so I don't need to have it right there. I can just walk into the next room, grab it, grab the size I want, and use it. And so that way it's it's a good place. It fits um, the four crock pots I have, fits them all very nicely, and it also opens up an entire cabinet. So I have a cabinet now in my kitchen that doesn't have anything in it, and I'm excited about that. Uh, anyway, I hope this helped you, and if you're interested in more organizing product uh, products, projects, or if you'd like to see some of my other videos about um, makeup and skincare reviews and prep craft projects or different things like that, um, I would just encourage you to hit that little button right there that says subscribe. Then you'll be notified when I upload new videos. You can also check out my blog at busybeingjen.com. Thanks for watching.